Hello everyone. So today we are going to implement this frog's reaction to the player character. Now as you can see, the frogs are jumping away from the player. See, so the frog density is less around the player because they are jumping away. So this is what we are going to work on today. How to make the frogs react with the player character. How to make them jump away. Right, so at the moment, if my player character go near the frogs, they don't really care. They don't react to the player. They just continue the same behavior. Just jump. So what I want to do is they should be jumping away from the player character. So to implement that, first we need a way to communicate uh, to the Niagara system where the player is. So this is the same system we worked on yesterday. So here I'm going to implement on top of that here. I'll add a new variable, new position variable. I'll call it player for system. Copy this name because we need to update this. So how do we update this variable? Um, for that, I'll go to our level blueprint. Here, let's add a tick and then uh, let's get a reference to this NS frogs like this and set position set Niagara variable position. Okay, so this is what we need, right. <clears throat> and the variable name is user dot player position value is let's get player character and get actor location so this will give the location of the middle of the actor but we need the foot location so for that let me add uh, minus 90 here in the set axis this will give a location close enough to the foot level of the character 90 minus 90 is used because usually 90 is the half height of a character if i remember correctly we can quickly check it though capsule half height is 90 yeah I was correct okay now the location update part is complete so how do we tell the frogs to jump away from the player's location well here in the linear force module this is how we give the direction to the frog the jump direction so we need this part and also we need another component that is coming from based on the player's location so if the frog is within a certain range from the player they should be jumping away so now to get a direction we should have a normalize uh, first yeah let me uh, copy this and add vector now as the first vector I will leave what I already had and as for the second vector let me add a multiply vector by float so we can control the influence of this component by increasing this float value and here so here we need a direction so in order to get a direction we can subtract particle location or the frog's location 
we can subtract player location from the frog's location and normalize it. So normalize vector and here uh, subtract position. Right, this one first value would be particles position. Second value would be player position. Right now, this gives us a directional vector. Right, that part is done. Now the next part is um, we need this multiplier so that it should become higher when the frog is closer to the player and it should become zero when the frog is out of certain range from the player so how can we do that yeah well, we can do something like this let me first clamp this and as the max value i'll use two because two is larger than oh this is also two so then oh, yeah then still this will be jumping away from the player so it should be fine right uh now as for the float value i'll use another subtraction first value let's say 300 so this 300 would be the range that uh, make frogs jump away from the player's location so second value i have to consider vector length and what's the vector here well again the subtraction of frog location from the player location so frog location means particle position and player location means player location how we use a variable okay so now you can already see this area is already somewhat free of frogs the reason is this is already zero zero see so that's why that area is already free of frogs so now if I play let's see see frogs are avoiding play already they are jumping away and yeah another problem I can notice is when the frogs are jumping away from the player their rotation somewhat snaps see look at when they are jumping backward that's especially noticeable right so actually the reason is we use this module to have a small um, force to keep slowly moving the frog so that we can uh, maintain their orientation so here also we have to use the same calculation uh, that considers the player's location as well so let me copy this first vector value and use the add vector as the first one I have to use the same and as for the second one i have to use uh, this value which already knows the direction from the player so let me paste it right now let's check right now they do maintain their direction right 
okay so right and we can stop this episode right here everything seems fine okay so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye